In this video you will learn how to properly burn on a lead head. To burn on a lead head you will need lead head connector, hammer, lead stick or burn bar, flame or heat source. Prior to burning on a lead head we had to rebuild the post. See the video entitled Rebuilding a Post on quickhowto.com. Now that the post is rebuilt we're ready to burn on the lead head. Be sure the vent caps are removed before beginning the burn on process. As a reminder, you should always purge the gases before beginning this process. This allows the hydrogen gas to escape from the cell chambers. This is especially important since we are using an open flame. Next, determine the path you want the battery cables to follow, then place the proper lead head connector around the newly rebuilt post so the cable follows the appropriate path. This is extremely important because once the lead head is burned on, you won't be able to reposition it without drilling it off and starting the process all over. Once the lead head is in its proper position, you're ready to start the burn on process. Setting a proper flame goes a long way to ensure a proper burn. Only trained personnel should operate a fuel-based torch. We are using an oxygen acetylene mixture with a single orifice flame tip. Other desirable fuel mixtures are natural gas and oxygen, or propane and oxygen. It's important to understand the properties of metal to ensure a proper weld. Lead alloy is a relatively soft metal, so it doesn't require extremely high temperatures to change to liquid form. An oxygen acetylene mixture is hotter than a propane or natural gas mixture, so it's important to adjust your flame accordingly. Once you have your flame lit, you should adjust it to establish a medium flame. Adjust the oxygen and acetylene levels until you have a desirable inner cone. Now you are ready to actually perform the burn on. With the burn bar in one hand and the torch in the other, begin applying heat to the post, starting with the middle and moving outward to the edge in a circular motion. Continue to apply heat until the post becomes liquefied and starts collapsing into the lead head. Once the lead head and post are melded together, it's time to start filling the cavity using the burn bar. Reapply heat to the post cavity so it liquefies again. Gradually add lead from the burn bar a little at a time. Continue applying heat to the cavity. This will ensure a strong bond all the way through. Once the cavity is completely filled, you can stop adding lead and apply heat to the middle of the lead head to smooth out the top surface. Be sure you let it cool before touching the terminal. Let's review the burn on process again. Place the lead head around the post. Adjust the flame. Apply heat to the post in a circular motion. Slowly add lead. Apply more heat. Let cool. From the point you apply heat until you've completed the burn on, it should take less than a minute. It takes practice to become proficient in this process, but following these steps should help you master it in no time at all. For more videos in our material handling series, visit quickhowto.com.